So guys, today we are going to be doing yet another Inside the Waistband holster review for the Glock 19. And today we're going to be talking about the DeSantis Scorpion 2. And as always guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. So as we get into this, this is of course what it looks like with the Glock 19 in it. And once again, this is an Inside the Waistband holster. So this goes inside your waistband so it kind of doesn't matter that it's a little bit exposed but today we're going to be talking about my overall thoughts and impressions i'm going to be rolling in some shooting footage here so you guys can see and get an idea of what it's like to draw and shoot from this holster and so without any further ado let's get into kind of my thoughts on this holster so this is not my favorite holster admittedly uh, of course i don't generally carry inside the waistband generally i'm rocking the bca uh, the bravo concealment bca outside the waistband but i did rock the uh what is it, the n82 tactical for some time and i really did like the n82 the n82 was a very nice holster uh, <clears throat> i really enjoyed how much it held the gun in i also enjoyed the comfort level that it provided when carrying I mean I really enjoyed the fact that I could do a lot of things like I could be very active like I usually am I didn't really have to worry about the uh, holster biting or digging or doing anything that would hurt me as an end user so I really enjoyed the N82 and I thought it was a really great holster however moving over to the DeSantis uh, this is the Scorpion 2 and uh, it's not been quite as good I will say there are some things I like about it, and I'm going to start off with those things. And the first thing I really do like about it, as opposed to the N82 that I ran previously, is the footprint of this holster. The footprint is very small, it's very minimal, and it just covers the gun. It has a good amount of retention. I will say something I like about this holster is that it has a retention adjustment screw right around here, and so that allows you to adjust how much tension you want in the uh, actual actual rig itself and so that is also nice um, <clears throat> like I said I do like how easy it is to clip in because it's such a small package it's really easy to slip inside the waistband and that those are the things I really like about it so the retention and the ease of use are probably my top two things about this holster that I really do enjoy another thing is it is a good high quality kydex holster the fitment is great on it it's well molded to the gun um, I really don't have any complaints there. It's overall a pretty good holster, of course, made in the USA by DeSantis. DeSantis has a really good long track record of making awesome holsters for guns, and uh, nothing fancy likes DeSantis as well, so they have a pretty good track record, and this is a good, as far as quality goes, this is a great holster, but what I don't like about this holster, now getting into that. So the first thing is, and this may be a personal thing for me, but generally I don't like to wear a whole lot of shirts. So I just wear shirts to cover the handgun or to run on the outside of the handgun. But generally what I will do is be bare skin. So if I slip this inside the waistband, my waistband doesn't have any undershirts. I don't put any shirt between my, my uh, body and the waistband of my pants. And so what I immediately noticed with this holster was the fact that because this is Kydex, it, there's no pliability. Unlike the uh, N82 where it's leather and it can kind of conform to your body, with this holster it's hard Kydex entirely all the way. And not only that, the Kydex is bent to one singular shape. You guys can hopefully see, maybe, maybe you can, but uh, it's bent to one shape. And so you basically have to make sure that this holster is bent in that shape on your body and if it's not then these two sides or one of these sides of kydex is going to dig into your body a lot and it's going to be very painful and this was something that I noticed quite frequently and like when I would climb into a car this would not be the holster that I would climb into a car with because the kydex just is not it's not conforming it's very rigid and it will dig into your body and create a very uncomfortable carry situation i really disliked that about this holster and honestly the primary reason why i don't really use this holster is because it's just so blasted uncomfortable to carry with 
at least for me personally, I find this holster to be very, very uncomfortable to wear, unless you wear it and you're standing up. If you do a very limited amount of movement or you're very just in one stance, like if you put it on your waistband, you just stand up all day and you just walk around and you do maybe some running, then it's a fantastic holster. But if you actually want to be dynamic or if you end up being a dynamic person like myself, where you know I'm getting in and out of cars, I'm you know sitting down, laying down, standing up, walking, running, you know, all in a day's time. These are just the different things I do or the different positions I'm in. And uh, this holster is very uncomfortable in most of those positions. And so really I just found myself drifting away from this holster because of that reason primarily. Other than that, it is actually a pretty so good anyways, holster. guys, in closing, the DeSantis, the DeSantis Scorpion 2 is a pretty good holster. It's just not my preferred holster. It's not my preferred cup of tea. And I really just am not the largest fan of the holster. Anyways, guys, I'm sorry for this kind of down review. Sometimes this happens. But anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. And as always, guys, God bless and I'm out.